Today's show is sponsored by the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Enjoy exceptional bourbon, bourbon seminars, and cuisine surrounded by the charm and culture of New Orleans. The dates are March 24 through 26. Learn more at neworleansbourbonfestival.com. We are also sponsored by Round Table Woodworks and BarrelChips.com. They are bringing whiskey smoke to your favorite foods with their authentic whiskey barrel smoking chips. You're listening to the Firewater Review. This is a podcast dedicated to whiskey reviews. On today's show, we will be reviewing Colonel E. H. Taylor Straight Rye, Bonded Rye Whiskey. I am your host, Seth Brown. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Mr. Aaron Cave. How are you? I am doing great tonight, Seth. This is one I'm really looking forward to doing. How are you? I am doing spectacular. I can't complain. Can't complain. I've been looking forward to this, too. I mentioned to you right before we started recording that I've been sipping on this for the past couple of days, jotting down some notes here and there. Yeah, and, you you know, uh, just talking, you know, before the shows and after the shows, I've come to find out that we're both rye guys. So it's amazing to me that we haven't hit a rye yet. This is our first rye, so. Yeah. uh, And this is going to be a good one to, to put down i feel the same yeah i'm i like all the the taylor the taylor uh releases the the bottled and bond uh the the uh small batch is good the single barrel is good the rye is good the barrel proof is fantastic almost every release that i've had of that has been really really good but yeah the, the rye i you know as you mentioned we're both rye guys and you know i just I like young and old rise. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, I just opened uh, one of the, my local distilleries. Where it has a hundred percent pumpernickel rye that I just opened. Oh and wow! I, I, yeah, it's it's three years and it is uh, crisp and clean and it's just it's got a lot of good flavors to it. It's uh, you know some of the younger ryes are really uh, really coming on strong. Yeah, I, I agree. The um... The one that you've heard us talk about before on maybe some of the other shows, the uh, Silverback Distillery, her uh, blackback rye is oh, I know. is spectacular, and it's you know roughly thirteen months old, and it just has loads of flavor in it. I'm not sure what she's doing up there to it in Virginia, but man, it's so good. It is so yeah. good. I need to get a bottle of that for sure. I I would love to try it. I, I think a trip to Afton is in my future. I it should be. It should be. We took a slight detour just to go by there uh, over Thanksgiving. Oh, that's good. That's great. Uh, I've actually been been down to Afton and on that strip of highway uh, quite a bit. Uh, they have a ton of wineries and uh, breweries on there. So yeah, they have a they have their own little, uh, I guess, whiskey and wine. Well, they have, they have some a couple of breweries mixed mixed yeah. in there too. But they have little you can get bus a trips. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a real thing. <laughs> little little bus trips that take you up and down that stretch of highway there. So it's yeah, a, we it's uh, we actually did my best friend's uh, bachelor party out there. Uh, got a cabin in the mountains, and we hit all the wineries and breweries uh, along that strip for uh, two or three days. It was it was a blast. Nice. So, but that was before Silverback was uh, was up and running. Yeah. But uh, it's yeah, it's a good time. Yep. Yeah, there's there's a lot of great great younger rise out there too. There's there's a couple of local distilleries doing some some good stuff around here. Lazy Guy um, here in Kennesaw, Georgia, they do one that uses uh, chocolate malt. And Ooh, I bet you that's good. Yeah, it's got that nice chocolate. I mean, you can really tell that it uses chocolate malt, and um, but it, it's it's got some great flavor. And then down in Americus, Georgia, there's one Thirteenth uh, Colony uh, Distilleries. And they're doing a, a really good rye too, so it's uh, just because it's younger stuff. Listeners, don't knock it. I mean, anything is worth a try. You know, support the local people too. Not only the big guys like 
Buffalo Trace with the H. Taylor, but um, there's a lot of lot of little local distilleries doing some really good stuff out there. So always always give them a shot. You never know what you'll find. So speaking of the larger fellas, what can you tell us about Mister Colonel Taylor and his rye? Well, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the Colonel himself, just because I'm sure a lot of our listeners have listened to, you know, the bourbon show, the bourbon daily, you guys hit, hit stuff on him all the time. So I'm, I'm not going to waste anyone's time on that, but I do just want to talk about a little bit about the uh, different releases that, you know, the, the Taylor lineup it has, mm-hmm. there's, you, you mentioned the small batch, the single barrel, the barrel proof, the ride that we're trying tonight. And then there's the, you know, special year, yearly releases, the uh, Old Fashioned Sour Mash, you know, what, four four years ago. Mm-hmm. Then the uh, Warehouse uh, Sea Tornado Surviving, uh, the Cured Oak, the Seasoned Wood, and I think this year's the Four Grain, possibly. Yes. Yeah, I think so, that's uh, Yeah, they're doing some great stuff. Uh, so just a little bit about the, the brand itself. Uh, the just the general old Taylor brands. It was first sold in uh, 1887, and that's when uh, Colonel Taylor opened up uh, the Castle mm-hmm. Distillery there in Woodford Country. Uh, and then uh, he had that for a while, and then the brand was sold off to uh, National Distill uh, Distillers in uh, 1935 and if anyone has ever had any national distiller each or old taylor it's just i mean phenomenal stuff if if it's always worth a try if you could ever find it or just get a sample of it it's a just butterscotch bomb Hmm. but then after that it went to beam in 1987 and beam held held it till uh 2009 when sazerac bought the old taylor brand and they actually, I think, kept selling Old Taylor for quite a while until they released the Colonel E.H. Taylor uh, brands. Yeah. So uh, I know the rye itself uh, was released in 2012. It's uh, It does not share the same mash bill as uh, Sazerac and the Handy. So the straight rye for the Taylor is uh, just rye and barley no corn um i don't know what the actual mash bill is i I think it leans a little bit more on the higher rye Mm -hmm. uh mash bills so um you know i don't know what it is but um it's as we said bottled and bond um i've kind of spoken a little bit about bottled and bond in the past on a couple of our other shows but I can go ahead and touch on that again if you would like, or yeah. I could just pass it. No, oh, sure. Why not? We're here. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> so, bottle and bond. It's, uh, you know, this rye whiskey is bottle and bond. It was distilled in one season from one distiller at one distillery. It's been aged in a federally bonded warehouse. So, it's supervised by the U.S. government, aged at least four years, and barreled at 100 proof. So uh, those are the laws. It abides by all those laws. So we can say this rye is at least four years old. Um, I'm sure it's older than that, but it does not have an age statement on it. So you can never really tell, you know, without an age statement. But uh, I would imagine it's probably somewhere between eight and 12, if I had to take a guess. Yeah. But I'm not 100% on that. Um, So and. The actually the all of the the whole lineup of the Taylors is they're all bottled and bond except the barrel proof just right. because it's over hundred proof. Yeah. So uh, that's the neat thing about the Taylor lineup is just because he was a big advocate for that bottled yeah. and bond act. You know he pushed that through. So that's why all of his bourbons, you know, his namesake bourbons, are bottled and bond. Yeah, nice, so, nice little nod to the Colonel. Yes. So uh, that's that's about what I got. You got anything to add? No, I don't really. I don't. I, I mean, you you hit it all right there. Um, I I don't know of any other bottled and bond rye out there. I'm sure there are, but I can't there, think of any. There's right a few. Uh, Rittenhouse rye. Uh, oh yeah, is, is yeah, one. yeah, that's right. 
and I Old Poke uh, Distillery just uh, released one uh, this year, and uh, I think it's I'm gonna say it's Old Maysville Club or something like that. I I, I can't remember what it is, but uh, they they released a bottled and bond rye as well. So, but uh, I think that I. I'm sure there's a couple other ones out there, but I can't really think of them right now. Yeah. I, I'd forgotten all about Rittenhouse. It's, it's not a bad, I mean, it's a, you know, I guess bottom to second shelf type. Yeah. 24 ride. bucks. It's, oh, it's solid at 24. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's great in cocktails. It's, it's, uh, you know, decent by itself. Drinking neat. So might look into picking that one up too. But tonight we're talking about the Colonel's Rye. So what we will do, we'll take a short break, we'll jot down a few notes, and when we come back, we will share said notes. Dirty Knees Soap Co. That's DirtyKneesSoap.com. Dirty Knees Soap. CO. You know, my wife came across them in Whole Foods just on the oh, show. Oh, really? Yeah. She was walking nice. down the aisle and she had heard me mention that they were a new sponsor of the network. And she said, you know what? I got to pick this up. So she came home. It was a little two pack. You get a oh, lo- okay. you get a lotion and a soap. A body was it wash. Minnesota wood? I believe it was. Yes. So ha, oh, man. That that's stuff the good stuff slick. right there. Yeah. yeah. That I, I, I flew through that sample. Flew through it. That was the first thing I used was Minnesota wood. Oh, yeah. What'd you do? Ta- what'd you do? Take a shower every day? Yeah. Yeah. Just because they <laughs> sent me the soap. I felt like I had to. Yeah. Dirty Knees Soap Co. Dirty Knees Soap dot com. If you use promo code bourbon 20, you will get 20% off your first order. Dirty Knees Soap dot com. All right, welcome back. In the break, Aaron and I were taking a few notes on Colonel E. H. Taylor Straight Rye, bottled and bond whiskey. So now that we're back, Aaron, I will let you kick it off with your review. All right, so uh, this is just—I just want to say—just a great, great rye whiskey. If if you like rye, so you're not going to be disappointed. It's uh, on the nose for me. It's very. Uh, rye grain forwards. You get a lot of rye, and I, I get a lot of uh, candy ginger and little hints of uh, caramel and toffee. Then you get some light uh, hints of uh, dill, some of the darker fruits, uh, then maybe some just the hints of cherry, some figs. Uh, I get a lot of uh, raisin, uh, like dried uh, raisins and cherries. And just a little hint of mint at the end on the nose. Uh, the palate uh, is is great. It's just it's right up front. It's that peppery rye kick that I love, uh, followed by uh, a nice sweet cinnamon. The uh, the sweetness is great in this because uh, it's really kind of spicy right when it hits your tongue, but then it just kind of mellows out with a nice uh, toffee, uh, honey, a little bit of vanilla. Uh, and right at the end, yeah, it's a light tobacco, uh, a little bit of oak, and just little subtle hints of dill. And the finish is medium for me. It's 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 not long. It's not short. It's right there in the mid- middle. Uh, it sits with you for a little bit, but it's not too hot. Uh, for 100 proof, this it, it, it drinks for me a little bit lower than 100 proof. Uh, it, it's it's very approachable in my uh, opinion. The, but the the finish is just uh, rye and caramel. Uh, with just a little, little, it kind of dries out at the end, just a little bit of oak and uh, just a little bit of mint again at the end. But uh, yes, it's solid. It's great pour. Uh, I, I really love this uh, rye. It it's, uh, sits, sits at an 88 out of 100 for me. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's th- this is fun to me because, you know, and I think you probably do it too. And I'm sitting there listening to what you say and 
you know, obviously I, I have this in my glass as we're sitting here recording and I like to, and I think you probably do the same thing. Like I said, you, you kind of, as, as you're talking, I'm going back to it, you know, and I'm, I'm nosing it. I'm taking a sip. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Like, you know, I didn't mm-hmm. have dill anywhere in my notes, but I can, you know, going back to the nose, I can definitely see that now. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to, to do that. Um, for me, I, I think we had a lot of the similar, similar things. It was, um, I got, you know, the nice rye aromas there up front on the nose. Mm-hmm. Um, I was getting some fresh split oak on it. Uh, there was a touch of even a little bit of cedar and some mint on the nose. Uh, there was uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some very, very light vanilla aromas. And that was when I initially poured it into my glass. Now, after letting it sit for a little bit and coming back to it, I was getting a little bit more of the vanilla notes on the nose. Uh, but on the palate, it was uh, very spicy up front and a, even a little bit of, uh, salty. Uh, but there was some nice, uh, you mentioned the, the kind of the, the, uh, the sweeter cinnamon flavors. I, I kind of likened it to um, red hot candies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, cinnamon and red pepper. Uh, but you've got just enough of that, that sweetness in there to kind of balance it out. Uh, for a rye, it manages to be fairly oily on the, on the body. Uh, has a nice medium body to it with a, with a good mix of, as I mentioned, red pepper and cinnamon with a little bit of oak and uh, black pepper mixed in there. Uh, I agree with you on the finish. I, I wish it was just a little bit longer. It, uh, it without giving it a good chew, it it, it has, you know, I, I agree with you, kind of a medium finish. But if you give it a really good chew, uh, it, it does tend to draw it out a little bit more. You let that air get in there and kind of kind of breathe it once it's in your mouth. Um, that helped draw the the uh, finish out for me a little bit. Uh, but you, there again, I got uh, the the cinnamon that kind of pulls me into the finish. Uh, I was picking up some clove, tobacco, uh, some nice rye grains in there, and when I was chewing it, I was it kind of allowed it to get kind of buttery for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there, there again, I was agreeing with you because towards the very end of that finish, it did start to dry out a little bit. But I that, that doesn't bother me. It just kind of you know, it gives a little bit more complexity to me, but I, I gave this an 87.5. Yeah, well, we're pretty close there. Yep. We tend to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I really, uh, I just gave it a really good chew and I, I really agree, agree with you. It really brings out some really uh, big, uh, high, just rye grainy notes that mm-hmm. I was missing. Yeah. It's, it, it does kind of, lengthen it just a little bit yep. and it's given me a little bit more of that uh cinnamon so uh yeah it's uh y- you know i i don't i usually i chew the first you know couple sips but after that i really don't and i you know when you said that i was like oh i'm gonna give it a try and yeah i i can i see where you're going with that yeah it, I, I didn't do that until probably the second or third uh little sip of it and you know, I'd already made some some uh, general notes prior to doing that, and I'd written down medium. But then I, I did that chew, and I kind of put a little asterisk there, you know, about about doing that. And yeah, it just for me, it helped draw it out a little bit longer, and uh, really kind of rounded it out. And I think originally I had uh, I can't remember what my score was that I had in my mind, but I, I bumped it up just a little bit. I, I reviewed this on the Son of Winston Churchill too. I did a whole oh yeah. Uh, e. H. Taylor series, mm-hmm. and I actually went back and looked at my notes on that today. And you know, I was picking up a, a, a few other little aromas and and flavors on the palate than what I had initially tasted. I guess, gosh, that's been well, it was sometime middle of last year, I guess, when I when I did that review. Um, but yeah, that was the the last one that I'd reviewed there, and I think I gave it a eighty eight or an eighty nine there. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a rye. They with with the lack of corn, they don't tend to be as oily. So I, I guess I can't really knock it for that, but I do like a little bit more viscosity on it. Um, yeah, me too. But uh, anyway, yeah, can't complain. How much is, is this? I can't. Really, it's like sixty. About about seventy. Seventy. Sixty nine. I think 
the bottle I bought here in Ohio was sixty nine ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, that that seems about right. And then the single barrel is around that. Yeah, the same s- price. Small batch is what, like forty? Forty ish. Yeah. And, and the I, barrel I, proof is eighty. About it. Yeah, about eighty. Eighty. Yeah. So a little on the the more pricey side. You don't see the the barrel proof that often. Um, I've been fortunate to snag a few bottles over over the last few years. Uh, and that, that, if you come across it is just, I mean, like we said before the break, I mean, it, the whole lineup is great. Oh, it yeah, really they're is. All solid. But what I think is interesting about the whole thing is that to my knowledge, Colonel E.H. Taylor never actually distilled a rye. I think he yeah, was, I don't know. He was, he was all bourbon. I think to my knowledge, I could be, could be wrong on that, but I, I haven't seen anything online from any of that if you haven't had it pick it up it was i think the last one out of of the the regular lineup that they have that i bought you know like i said i've been drinking it over the last two days and i actually changed my glassware over the last two days too oh yeah yep i have uh it's a a larger tulip shaped glass and it is one that i got on a tour of brooklyn brewery uh, so it's the same general shape of a Glencairn, just a little bit larger, and I'm kind of digging it. It helps me get a little bit more out of the nose on it. I I switch up my glasses uh, quite a bit because I I got a ton of them, so I'm always going between the Glencairn and then I have the uh, you know the Canadian whiskey glasses, but they're uh, miniature so they're almost the same size of, as a Glencairn. Mm-hmm. I I love drinking out of those glasses. Uh and then I have uh, just a couple nice just rock glasses that I really enjoy drinking out of. And I, I want to say my favorite glass is my uh Knob Creek. It's the glass I got when we did the barrel selection. It says Knob Creek single barrel selection on it. Oh yeah, and I remember you telling me yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. I love that glass. It's it's kind of small uh but it's got like kind of a nice wide opening. It's uh, you get a lot of you can get a lot of good noses off that. Uh, it's uh, but I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm really weird with it. I only drink my Knob Creek single barrels out of it. <laughs> I, I, I will not pour anything else in it. I, and I do that with my Four Roses glass too. The one uh, the the big wide one that has the emblem at the bottom. Oh yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah. I I only drink my Four Roses out of that. It's. I'm, I'm weird like that. That's kind of funny. Well, you know, you yeah. keep it, 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 I don't ever put mine in a dishwasher. I always just get, you know, like oh, yeah. scalding hot water, hot water mm-hmm. and just rinse them out really, really, really well. And then flip them upside down on the, the counter and just let them dry overnight. And then the next morning I get up and I flip them over, just let the inside, you know, dry out really nicely. And that's all I ever do. I just, I, it, you know, doing doing shows like this, and even you know reviews on the Bourbon Show, and doing reviews for Hassie on the Son of Winston Churchill. I, I don't know. I just don't like the thought of detergent. Oh yeah, and I'm the glass. You. So it uh, it just kind of weirds me out a little bit. Well, I've I've had actually a couple instances 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 I can't even say it, but a couple times where I uh, had them put either put them in the dishwasher or hand washed them or did whatever, and I poured a bourbon or rye or whatever I was drinking that day. And I was like, this tastes like soap. (laughs) And, you know, it's like, what do you do then? You know, it's like, you don't want to waste a good bourbon, but you don't want to drink soap. Right. (laughs) So (laughs) you make a cocktail. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's a good way to salvage it. I did have one instance where I had to pour out. Uh, It didn't have anything to do with the glass or uh, anything like that, but I ordered some the Blanton straight from the barrel from Masters of Malts. And when it got shipped to me, one of them, the cork, you know, they're kind of known for their corks being loose, Mm kind of popped and it leaked uh, like half the bottle. And it was, yeah, it was in one of those uh, like big plastic air shippers that they fill with the air. And uh, I actually took that and dumped it (laughs) into a decanter. And I was like, I'm not wasting this. And then, so I poured some and I tried it. it yeah, I had to dump it. It tastes like plastic. <laughs> I thought for sure. 
Plus, I was thinking, you know, this is 133 proof. Just, <laughs> Eat through it, the plastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah, it tastes like plastic. I had to, had to dump it. But I'm, I emailed them, and they replaced my bottle. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That was, that was kind of nice of them. So. Give me the, the A for effort there on trying to salvage it, though. Yeah, well, that's yeah, well, I was... Yeah, I dumped. I, I took pictures, and actually, you know what I dumped it into? It wasn't a, a it wasn't a decanter. It was a old Taylor from. Uh, it was a two hundred milliliter from the eighties. Oh, empty, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I should I should see if I can find. I probably have pictures somewhere. That'd be funny. Uh, that post funny. those, but uh, yeah. So, but yeah, that, that's funny about the the Knob Creek and the Knob Creek glass. I guess if nothing else, you know, you you know that that's the only thing going in there. So you will have uh, at the very least some some similar notes there. If there's anything lingering in it, yeah, yeah. So now well, we got a little bit off topic, but uh, yeah, so uh, Taylor Straight Rye, uh, yeah, it's uh, eighty seven point seven five. There you so, go. Glad I could throw that off for us. Yeah, if you got seventy dollars to dish out, um, it's definitely worth picking up. It could be, you know, a great present for a whiskey lover like me or Seth. Yeah, but it could also be, you know, just a, a great bottle I have on hand for the special occasions. So, yep. um, if you've got the money and you want to do a little splurge and you like rye, I'd go for it. Absolutely. Yep, and I mean, any more you don't see the Sazerac rye that much anymore um or at least i don't i know some places it is still remaining as a as a shelfie uh but not not so much here in the atlanta area anymore uh but the price on that has been creeping up too it's uh yeah. supposedly around a six-year old rye mm-hmm. uh and i think it's around 40-ish now uh, but the the e.h taylor rye it to me, I know with the the stores that I go into, most of them typically have it, and if they don't have it, they can probably get it for you. Yeah. Um, so if you don't don't see it, just just ask your friendly store clerk and see if they can order it from you for you. So that's it. Eighty seven point seven five. Glad I could give us a, a weird score. Yeah, no, that's. I, I thought about throwing in a point five as well, but uh, I I like even numbers. Yeah, I like the odd ones. <laughs> so where can people find you at? Well, I am at Bourbon Cave on Instagram and Twitter. I write for the Sons of Winston Churchill. I also write for the Bourbon Zeppelin. Uh, write the high proof uh, single barrel bourbon articles. Uh, I think this last month I, had, I actually threw out a Jack Daniels uh, single barrel barrel proof so uh, nice. I'm, I'm starting to branch out getting a little bit away from bourbon i think i might throw in a few rise here and there so yeah keep a lookout for those and that's me you i am seth p brown on the instagrams and the twitters and i can be found on the abv network on a few of those shows uh you can find this show at Firewater Review on Instagram. Uh, another thing I'd like to plug is Mr. Steve Akeley has a new show on the ABV Network. It is Beer Reviews with Pepper and the Colonel. It is Steve and Pepper Roth, and they do a, uh, I believe it's a weekly show, and they're going to be doing beer reviews and kind to throw them into a bracket style and then come out with a winner for that month. Uh, so that's a new show. Be sure to check that out. And that's all I have. Oh, no, wait, I do have one more thing. Uh, I wanted listeners to subscribe to the show. So don't just listen. Go into iTunes and subscribe. Uh, That helps us. And as does your feedback, give us a review and leave a little feedback. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, and maybe even what you would like for us to review. And that is officially all I have now. Yeah, give us some ideas. We'd love to review whatever whatever it is you guys want to hear about. You know, we're we're up for anything. So we like whiskey. Yep. So we like spirits. Yes, we do. That is it. Thanks for listening. Cheers. Later.
The Firewater Review is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening, and cheers. This episode brought to you by WhiskeyThreads.com. That's W-H-I-S-K-E-Y-T-H-R-E-A-D-Z.com. Whiskey Threads is modern whiskey gear for those who know whiskey. Just a quick reminder to drink responsibly.